great story. Right, let's get a check on the weather now. Abby Dewhurst is with us. Abby, it's the first day of spring. Where is it? <laughs> it's hiding. It's going to feel more like winter, I think, as we head towards the end of the week. There'll be quite a significant wind chill. As for this afternoon, though, the patchy rain will pull away. We could even see one or two brighter spells, I think, as we head towards the evening. But there will be quite a lot of cloud out there for the next couple of hours. Rain gradually pulling away towards the east. So drier with one or two bright spells as we end the day. And our temperatures 11 or 12 degrees Celsius, which is a little bit down on where those temperatures have been over the last couple of days, but actually about average for the time of year. Overnight tonight, mostly dry with variable cloud and some clear spells, a slightly cooler and fresher feeling night, I think, to what we had last night with our temperatures dropping to four or five degrees Celsius. So quite cool out there first thing tomorrow morning, dry with some early brightness, but cloudy for a time as that band of patchy rain sweeps west to east. I think we could see one or two heavier showers following on 12 or 13 degrees Celsius, but our temperatures will continue to drop this weekend. And with that wind, it will feel quite bitter, I think, Steve. Thank you very much. I'll keep my big coat on for now, then, yes, I think. Yes, on standby. Thank you very much. You're back tonight at 6.30 with Roger for North West Tonight here on BBC One. In the meantime, you can stay up to date with us on the BBC New website. Uh, but from now, bye-bye. Bye-bye. And we may well have had the spring equinox for today, but as we head towards the weekend, it's going to start to feel a bit more like winter. A full forecast coming up later in the programme. It's a lovely story, isn't it? Right, let's uh, move on to the weather. Abby is here. It's Wednesday night, as you can see. How's it looking? It is, well, it was spring equinox today, but our weather is actually going to turn a little bit more wintry, I think, over the next few days. So a drop in temperatures coming, a significant wind chill by the end of the week as well. But thankfully, I think tomorrow looks to be a drier day. Yes, there will still be a little bit of patchy light rain, but I think we should see a few breaks developing in the cloud. So a couple of bright spells later into the afternoon as well. Now, we do have a cold front moving through. Low pressure very much in charge. They're very changeable conditions. Cold front moving through overnight into Friday. That's going to bring a little bit of patchy rain, and that's when we'll start to open the door, really open the gates to the much cooler air moving in from Friday. Overnight tonight, well, we did see some rain today, didn't we? That cleared, so we have seen some late sunshine. That is going to lead to some clearer spells overnight tonight with a mix of variable cloud as well. These will be our temperatures, five or six degrees Celsius, so perhaps a little bit chillier as we start the day tomorrow. But I think it should be a dry and bright start. Cloud will build and we will see some patchy light rain tomorrow. But you can see on the graphics it really won't amount to much. For the vast majority it should be a mostly dry day. We could just see a couple of hefty showers moving through later. But that cloud will break at times as well. So some brighter spells as we head towards the end of the day. A bit like today. Uh, temperatures 13 or 14 degrees Celsius. So a little bit milder than today. But those temperatures still above average for the time of year. However, all change. We are moving into a much cooler air mass through Friday and into the weekend. And that will affect not only the temperatures, but also the feel of things with that quite significant wind chill. You'll start to notice it from Friday, which looks to be a mix of sunshine and showers. The showers are really well scattered at this moment in time, though. Temperatures on paper, 10 or 11 degrees Celsius, which is pretty spot on. But factor in the wind chill and this is how it will feel. So more like five or six degrees Celsius in one or two places. And the winds are set to strengthen over the weekend. So Saturday, again, that mix of sunshine and showers, but the showers will become more frequent. We might even see one or two turn a little bit wintry. So like I say, spring equinox, yes. Longer days, yes, but feeling more like winter. So fairly strong north or northwesterly winds on Saturday. It will feel like about three or four degrees Celsius, I think, Rog. Have a seat. What do you think of the broom cupboard? It's uh, snug. <laughs> it's very cosy. It's one way of putting it, isn't it? It is a bit cosy, isn't it? Yeah. Um, a few people have commented about the sound levels. I'm really sorry if you're having problems with the with the sound at home. Um, some people saying that I'm not loud enough. Oh, that makes a change. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> That's exactly what I thought. Uh, yeah, uh, but we will we'll we'll get it sorted. We're in here for a short time. The builders are in the main place, of yeah. course. Sprucing it up. Sprucing it up. Yeah. It'll be great when it's done. But please bear with us. And um, <laughs> thank you, as always, for your company tonight. Katie Walderman's got the late news at half ten. Thanks for watching. Good night. Bye bye.